welcome to Paris Training Videos for the Anafi USA. In this video we'll talk about preparation for your first flight, including charging, the free flight 6 download, and my parrot. First, let's start with charging. To charge the Anafi USA Smart LiPo battery, use the enclosed USB-A to USB-C cable to plug the battery into a power source. This convenient cable enables you to charge your battery from the enclosed charger, a laptop computer's USB-A port, or a power bank's USB-A port. When the Anafi USA's Smart LiPo battery is plugged into a power source and charging, its four LEDs indicate in real time its level of charge. LED 1 flashing means the battery is between 0 and 25% charged. LED 1 steady and LED 2 flashing means the battery is between 25 and 50% charged. With LEDs 1 and 2 steady and LED 3 flashing, the battery is between 50 and 75% charged. With LEDs 1, 2, and 3 steady, and LED 4 flashing, the battery is between 75 and 100% charged. When all LEDs are powered off, it means your battery is fully charged and ready for operations. To check the charge of the battery, simply press the power button once. Pressing the power button once with the battery inserted will power on the aircraft. Likewise, pressing the power button once with the battery inserted and on will power off the aircraft. To record photos, videos, and flight logs to the drone, you will need to have an SD card inserted. To do so, remove the battery and notice the lock. Push down to unlock the lock, then take your new SD card and insert it. Push up on the lock and make sure that your SD card is secure. Then reinsert your battery. To charge the Sky Controller 3 or Sky Controller USA, simply plug it into the USB-C port on the back. A steady red light on the Sky Controller 3 or Sky Controller USA will indicate the system is still charging. A solid green light on the Sky Controller 3 will indicate the system is charged. A blinking green light followed by no LED on the Sky Controller USA will indicate the system is fully charged. To power on the Sky Controller 3, simply open it, and the LED will indicate the power is on. To power off the Sky Controller 3, simply close it. When the LED is off, the power is off. To power on and off the Sky Controller USA, use the power button at the bottom of the controller. Let's quickly talk about wintering mode. When your battery is inactive for 10 days or more, the battery will put itself into wintering mode. This will help protect the life of the battery. When in wintering mode, the power button will not work. Users must plug the battery into a charger to wake it up. Wintering mode on the Sky Controller USA works slightly different. There are two batteries in the system, one to power the controller and one to power the tablet. When the battery on the controller goes into wintering mode, the LED at the top of the screen will not illuminate. You will need to plug it into a power source to wake it back up. Now that we have everything charged in preparation for our first flight, we can ensure the system is connected, updated, and ready to go. To do this, we will need to install Free Flight 6 from the Google Play or App Store. Free Flight 6 is the graphical user interface created by Parrot for the Anafi series UAS. Once installed, let's create a My Parrot profile. The MyPair profile will allow you to keep track of your flight logs and integrate them into flight services like AirData, Drone Logbook, and Skyward. The Anafi USA leaves data up to the pilot. Users can choose to share flight data with Parrot to help improve our products. However, no data is shared by default and requires the user consent. If you do not consent, you can still store your flight logs locally in FreeFlight 6 and on the drone's SD card. Now that we have our MyParrot account set up, we can properly communicate with the system. In the next video, we'll take a deeper dive into Free Flight 6. Thanks for tuning in to the Paris training videos for the Anafi USA.